In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a grid in Flash. ActionScript 3.0 will be used here to add the grids dynamically. This is helpful while creating complex animations in movies. With the document opened up, let's draw a square outside the stage. We are going to duplicate this square to produce a grid, but this square will not be utilized here. Convert the square to a movie clip by choosing the Convert to Symbol option from the context menu. Now let's open the Advanced tab to link the movie clip to the action script. Over here, enable the Export for Action Script option and type in a class name. Let's write Grid for the class name. With that done, let's create another layer in the timeline to include the action script. Open the action window with the first frame of the second layer selected. Since the grid is a multiple representation of square, loop is used over here. Here we will use the for loop. Let's paste the set of codes over here. The number of grids here is limited to four along the horizontal axis. A single for loop is used as the duplication happens along a single axis. Add child is the function used to duplicate the grid. The grid.x and grid.y determine the position of the grid to be placed. To see the grids produced, press the control enter key to test the movie. Over here, we need grids both horizontally and vertically as well. To add another axis to the grid, we will add a few lines of code here. Two for loops are used to reproduce the grid along the x and y axes. In the first set of the code, only the width of the grid is considered. Here both the height and width are considered to determine the position of the grid being placed. Since the limitation of the grid is set to 4, the grid produces a 4x4 four four grid. With that done, let's press the control enter key to view the grid produced. Thus the grids produced here are dynamic. ActionScript 2.0 uses the duplicate movie clip function, which is not available in ActionScript 3.0. Instead here we use the add child function.